वेलकम टू एच टू के इन्फोसिस एच टू के इन्फोसिस इज अ ई वेरीफाइड बिजनेस बेस्ड इन अटलांटा जॉर्जिया यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वी प्रोवाइड हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब ओरियंटेड इंस्ट्रक्टर लेड फेस टू फेस थ्रू लाइव ऑनलाइन सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स एक्सेस टू क्लाउड टेस्ट लैब विद सॉफ्टवेयर टूल्स वी प्रोवाइड लाइव प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू टू वर्क ऑन वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड असिस्टेंस विद मॉक इंटरव्यूज resume preparation and review and job placement assistance h2k infosys is trusted by so many students across the world h2k infosys provides world class services in it training with real time project work for corporates and individuals special it training for ms students in the united states software design development QA manual and automation performance testing and maintenance IT staff augmentation job placement assistance and tech support now here interruption testing is nothing but right the activities which can occur parallelly within the mobile that means right when i am installing my application and if i wanted to make a call right what will happen say for example if my while the, during my application installation if i get any call from outside what will happen so so whatever that activities which can occur parallelly within the mobile during your installation uninstallation upgrading or working with the application so these are called interruption testing and also interruption testing include incoming call outgoing call incoming message outgoing message device shutdown that means that what we are doing is we are checking while installing my application check what is happening whether you are getting any incoming call similarly similarly when you are installing the application and if you want to make a call you can uh, do a call and when you are making a call see what is happening what is the application behavior similarly same apply to your incoming message same up- applicable to your incoming message or outgoing message and also what i will do is i am installing my application in between i shut down my machine i mean i shut down my mobile see what's happening shut down your uh, device and then again you can uh, right launch your uh, device see what is happening similarly what i will do i will insta- uh, during my installation installation what i will do is i will uh, simply remove my battery see what is happening see what is the application behavior right similarly what you can do like right while uh, installing my application or while working with my app right i wanted to take a photograph you can activate your camera and you can take the photograph and you can see what is happening and also when you are working with your mobile app and if you are uh, losing any connectivity like the network connection is gone and see what is the application behavior and after some time if the network is in action again see that application behavior again what is happening so these are all call your interruption testing we will do this interruption testing as part of my mobile application testing. when i am testing my mobile application testing all the time i will include these interruptions now mr prasad yes now, what is the expected uh, result for for all for the interruption testing that the system should resume that or uh, yes yeah. what will happen when when uh, when you are getting any incoming call right you can uh, receive the call and then uh, 
you can talk in that and then once your call is over then your application will begin got my point see say for example if you are sending a mail right if you are sending a mail and i entered my username and password and then immediately i got a call from my friend so once i got a call what i will do is i will uh, talk with him and once the call is over then i can go back to my mail and then you can send my mail will go that means right this incoming call should not interrupt your application mr prasna at this uh, this interruption testing does it include kind of hardware testing also because uh, it doesn't because you have to check physically the mobile set also incoming and outgoing all these parallel activities so it includes the hardware testing also no this is not the hardware testing this is like the interruption is right for any mobile application you have to do this interruption this is not hardware testing right where your hardware comes into picture here i don't think your hardware will come here right? so but uh, without the without having the mobile uh, it's just uh, like how will check physically like okay if it incoming call is coming then if any application yeah. is downloading so it takes the hardware yeah hard, that hardware right we will have that devices see what will happen yesterday i was telling you like right lab setup or infrastructure setup is very important for mobile application testing we will get some mobiles for testing purpose so what you will do you are uh, working with uh, one device and you can uh, call from other device that means that you will have two devices in your hand okay got it right so that's what right uh, before going to that uh, mobile application testing always your strategy is very important for the mobile application testing this is little different from our uh, normal web testing but here when you say this right okay. here yeah it's me i know actually um, the from the day when i just have this question i am a back end tester okay i'm okay. a data warehouse tester so uh, attending this class how it is going to help me like the um, mobile application testing so i am on a back end but this application this testing on is on front end so how can i connect these two yeah in the see this is right what you can do is right you can relate to your web services because right uh, mobile application is right every time we will use web services to connect to the mobile application so testing that uh, web services is a kind of your uh, back end testing Now, i'm not saying that it's a back end testing completely but it's a kind of uh, back end testing there we will uh, test with the help of our xml uh, structure and all. again i'm not saying that right uh, it's not completely back end but it's a kind of i, I can say so where i should focus more uh, when coming to yeah actually okay. yeah be honest right uh, if you are a back end tester this basic course right it will be like hard and for you but it will not give any help in your uh, like current uh, situation but it's a hard and for you Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. But whenever if you are having this uh, any call, right? What we will do is just now we discuss incoming, outgoing call, incoming SMS, outgoing SMS, and also what we need to do is right. You can like right when you are working with your mobile application, you can switch on your camera and check that whether your application is working fine. Even though right, uh, I open my camera. Similarly. you can also check that uh, bluetooth activities like uh, if you want to send some uh, if you want to send some files while working the app it should not affect our uh, app that is the intention similarly what you can do is you can uh, take your network connection and uh, try to you are working with one of the app and in between your network connection is blocked see that what's happening with your application you should get some kind of message saying that uh, network is gone or uh, net unable to connect to the network whatever the message decided by the team and once you reestablish the connection see what is happening with the application prasad and yes prasad i have a question related to this one let's say i am checking some video and a proper window uh, like an advertisement like a commercial 
it comes. Um, so that can also be called as interception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that is also that is nothing but your alert, right? Uh, if you observe, right, yesterday I was telling like alert notification also. It's a kind of uh, interception. In right alerts also, right one. If you observe that, you can see here alert notification. Alert notification also it's a kind of interrupt testing only. Okay. And now one more important thing is right. What we will do when you are testing with your uh, mobile app, right? I will also check that. Okay, fine. So one more thing is right here. One more thing is verify that unmapped keys are not. Hello. Fine. Now unmapped keys are. Hello. Okay. So unmapped keys means right. What we will do is. Yeah. Right. Hello. Yeah. Now, unmapped keys is nothing but right. Here, what we will do is we will check that any unmapped keys are not working on the screen. What do you mean by that? Say, for example, if you are having any application, my wife is breaking. Now it's clear. It's clear, no? No. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I mean, it seems right. Like the uh, few of them is uh, unable to hear properly. That's the reason. We can hear you, Prasad, clearly. Okay, fine. Yeah, sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, right, unmapped keys means, right, what will happen is when I'm designing my application, say, for example, if you're having, uh, if you're having a page, in that page, I wanted to allow only alphanumeric characters. When you want to allow only alphanumeric characters, right, what I will do is I will make sure that user can enter only alphanumeric characters. You cannot enter any special character. When you observe your smartphone, right? When you are working with the app, once you put your cursor, automatically your keyboard will pop up. In that keyboard, right? It will be mapped with your field. So it will be mapped with your field under. So what we will do as part of my mobile application testing? Oh. So as part of my I'm getting some echo. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, fine. So, as part of my mobile, I'm getting some echo. It's an unmapped key. Hello. Yes. What is an unmapped key? Yeah, unmapped keys are nothing but like uh, say for example, if you, I'm getting some echo. I'm not sure this is from my end or. Hello. Fine. Can you hear me now? So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. 
on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class the demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information if you still have more questions please feel free to call us call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.